Hey guys, Sci-Fi Builder here, and I thought I might as well give you guys a uh, tip before I start showing you guys how to actually build the guns. I thought I'd give you guys a tip. So this is the tip is pretty much how to enlarge a picture so that it's a life size. So I'm going to be showing you with an uh, M14, I believe, and uh. and uh, stuff like that I'll also show a pistol but for now let's do the M14 so you go to Safari oh wait hold on hold that thought you would go to Safari but my I'm not online right now I already have the picture though so you drag your picture so you click and then drag your picture like that and you would pull it up to the corner like that and see how it does that and then you'd want to go to your desktop too make sure you're still holding the button see how it can move it like that make sure you're still holding down and just leave it on top of desktop too and it'll start blinking and it'll go into desktop too so once you go into desktop too you keep it clicked and then and then release it onto the desktop like that you just let go and it should appear on the desktop and so you have your picture see this is my picture right here and so I'm gonna go down and you want to open up Microsoft Word this is not my background this is my mom's background so sorry her computer is really slow but it's the only computer I can use Okay, so once this area opens up, you're going to want to, um, you're going to want to take the blank. You want to take the blank page, obviously. And so you have your blank page. Now this is going to be on desktop 1. So now, you go to desktop 2. Take your image like so, pull it up into the corner like I said, do what I did, see that, see how it did that? and then I release it onto oh okay, that didn't work so if that doesn't work then you want to open it up so double click it and preview should pop up and you'll have your picture and do command C or if you have a windows or whatever copy it and so you have it copied go to your desktop um, one and then command V or paste on whatever type of computer you're using and so your picture pops up. It might be pretty small, but that's not what matters. So you click the picture like that, and you have the ring. Now if you come up here, you see this format picture part. You want to click that format picture part. Then you want to click this crop button. And so you want to make this life size, right? So you're going to move that just a little bit over to the edge of the gun. Like that. And this other side right here. You're just going to move that all the way over till wherever you want to cut it off. So if you want to cut off the just the back piece, you're going to want to just mark it right there. Click the screen outside of it. And there you have the back piece and that part of the handle. And so you enlarge it like that until it fits the page or however big you want it like that. And then after you have it like that, um, you'd print each piece and you just click delete. And then paste it again, click it, do the format picture, crop, and then do the next section. So you'd move this side. So if I cut it off where I showed you, I'm going to move it to where it was. So it shows you, see that area is the area that you cut off right here? That's the area that you cut off. So now you're going to move this side till, say, right there. And then that's the next piece that you have of your gun. And then you do that. You'd print it. And then you'd delete it. And once more, you'd paste. And then normally when I'm making the M16, uh, I normally just do three pieces. So the piece that I sh the two pieces that I showed you and then this last piece. It uh whoops, sorry. 
this last piece just goes up to there because I don't need to do the barrel I don't really like doing the barrel I just put in a PVC pipe or something for the barrel so then I have this piece enlarge it till it lines up you want to make it line up so you can just scroll down and check your line check if it matches up and then print them and then you after you print them I'm not going to show you this part but you would tape them together in the well you, yeah you tape the pages together so they fit together and then you cut out the actual shape and then you have them fitting together so there you have how to make the m6 uh, how to enlarge the m16 now let's go to back to the desktop uh, quit preview and so here I have a picture of a pistol it's a good thing I already have these pictures down so I'm gonna do this open it up copy it paste it and there you have your picture of that now for this it doesn't require any cropping you just go to command print and so it'll pop up like that but then you go to page setup and I normally rotate it sideways like this and I do my scale this is how you would enlarge it so I'm gonna try 250 okay and so you see the picture came off the page so 250 is too big go back to page setup try 200 and you just do it till it fits, see? Almost fits. Uh, 170. Okay. There we go. And so it looks about life size. And if that doesn't work, like, if you can't get it to do that, then you're just gonna want to, um, take your picture, life's, uh, take your picture. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Oh shoot, what happened? Oh, well, so you take your picture and you would uh, crop it out the actual gun. So, format picture, crop, blah blah, blah. you know this from just a minute ago. You'd crop out the gun like so. And then you'll get a smaller picture. And then you click it, and I'll ignore all this stuff. And then you have your smaller picture, and with your smaller picture, the smaller picture that you have, you just simply enlarge it till it fits the page like almost perfectly or however big you want it. You print it, you cut it out, and then I will teach you how to make it in the next video. Well, I don't know what I'll be doing in the next video, but. So, there you have it. That is how you enlarge a photo to make it fit. Or make it life size. Thank you. Oh, and don't forget to write and subscribe. Thanks.